Hello investors, welcome to the channel where I talk about investing for the long term through investing in companies that pay a dividend. My name is Michael and today we're going to start off with looking at how the market ended for the week and then look at stock futures. We had a lot of good news over the past week which helped increase uh, all the indexes up about 1-3% to across the board and as a result there are many sectors in the stock market that are reaching new all-time highs. Just taking a quick look at the major indexes for the S&P 500 index, it is up 1.97% reaching near all-time highs. For the NASDAQ index, it is up 2.29% reaching near all-time highs. And lastly, for the Dow Jones index, it's up 1.82% reaching near all-time highs as well. Now comparing this to my uh, Roth IRA, we can see that my portfolio has also reached uh, its all-time highs and for the week it is currently up 1.09% Although the portfolio has increased by 1.09%, it is not necessarily up to par with the indexes. However, I do recognize that my portfolio is still continuing to reach uh, its all-time highs in its life cycle and is projected upward slowly in terms of value. This makes sense because I recently put in new money to fund the account for the week and therefore, that amount of money that was put into the stock market has had not enough time to grow with the market. Luckily, my portfolio has produced a money wave return of over 28% since its inception on the M1 Finance platform, and I have faith that it will continue to grow as time passes. Now, talking about this past week, I invested about $250 into my Roth IRA to buy shares of Boeing, Shell, Genuine Parts, Church and Dwight, JM Smucker, Franklin Resources, Vermilion Energy, BNG Foods, and Manitech. Uh, I selected these companies and bought shares in all these companies because I thought that they were at good prices for me to dollar cost average my way into my targeted positions. Furthermore, on a fundamental level, all these companies are pretty solid for the future of their business and uh, are currently seeing a short term fire. And so the stock prices of these companies have dipped down a little bit. As long as a company has an increased projection on its fundamental basis, I will gladly continue to buy shares of that company at a discounted price and reap the rewards of earning a dividend. Uh, moving on, about dividends, I have also earned a decent amount of dividends from various companies which I can use to reinvest in my portfolio. So looking at the week here, on the 15th of January, I earned uh, a lot of dividends from all these companies right here. Uh, for example, I earned $7.71 from uh, Occidental Petroleum Corporation, I earned uh, 59 cents from Realty Income, I earned re uh, about 11 cents from uh, Republic Services, I earned about 3 cents from Stag Industrials, I earned uh, 26 cents from uh, Stellis Capital Investment Corporation, I earned 4 cents from Store Capital Corporation, I earned a dollar and five cents from uh, the Federal uh, Realty Investment Trust. I earned a dollar and fifteen cents 
from um, the GCI Liberty um, uh, preferred stock. I earned 27 cents from Illinois Tool Works. I earned about 29 cents from Leggett and Platt. I earned 6 cents from Main Street Capital. I earned 64 cents from Loan uh, Manhattan Bridge Capital. I earned 20 cents from Blackstone Mortgage Trust. I earned 43 cents from Cardinal Health. I earned 26 cents from Cincinnati Financial Corporation. I earned 45 cents from DTE Energy Company. I earned 44 cents from EPR Properties. I earned 34 cents from Echo Labs. I earned a uh, dollar and 34 cents from Disney. I earned eight cents from Medtronics, and that's pretty much all the dividends that I've earned uh, this week in my portfolio. These dividends that I earned are a result of me owning shares of each company, and this is money that I did not have to put any effort into earning besides clicking a few buttons to buy shares. Essentially, I'm earning money while I sleep. This is referred to passive income, earnings which are derived from an enterprise like a rental property or a company which require little to no effort to earn and maintain. Although all these uh, amounts may seem very small, they uh, will amount to something bigger and since every little bit helps it will eventually snowball uh, into a large working machine through compound interest. Now this week there will only be four trading days in the stock market because Monday is an American federal holiday as people celebrate the life and birthday of uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. However, I'm excited to inject more money into the stock market and keep everyone updated with my progress for the upcoming week. I just wanted to say that if selected properly, then investing in companies that have a proven track record of consistently increasing their dividends can have a generous positive return on the compound interest within an individual's investment portfolio. This is especially true if one decides to invest in the long term, which is recommended on this channel. So as you can see here, I have uh, put in buys for the next trading day, which will be on Tuesday, because as I said, Monday will be a uh, an American federal holiday where we celebrate uh, the life and work of uh, Dr. Martin Luther King. And I'm buying um, uh, essentially two companies. Um, I am putting in $150 into um, Septon Company and uh, $134 into Federal Realty Investment Trust because uh, uh, I believe that their price at this point is really attractive and they are uh, well known to pay um, consistent dividends to investors and uh, I see that their fundamentals have a positive outlook. So this concludes the update portion of my portfolio. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video until the end. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up as it will help grow the channel uh, immensely. If you have any uh, comments or questions or any concerns, then please leave them down below in the video. And I'll either do my best to personally address it in a comment or I will see if I can answer the questions or comments in uh, future videos. 
I greatly appreciate everyone uh, watching my videos and I hope to speak with you all again very soon.